Hello, investors. There's a lot of talk on Wall Street about a recession and a bear market. So today we're going to cover eight bear market facts and take a calm, pragmatic look at the stock markets and how to invest right now. Now, I started investing in the early 1990s and I've lived through five different bear markets. And when you see the facts, I believe it has a calming effect by allowing us to focus on the big picture. And be sure to stick around to the very end because after I cover the eight bear market facts, I'm going to show you how to profit from a bear market and why I'm not that worried no matter what the market throws at us. Let's kick off the day with a success story from Funny River Red. I have learned a lot about reading charts, following momentum, and finding better times to buy and using Jerry's indicator. I looked at my return on investment since I started this journey and have a solid 37% gain on my trading history over the last year. Thank you for this group and for your willingness to pass on knowledge. Funny River Red has crushed it with a 37% gain in the last year, and by comparison, Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation ETF, ticker symbol ARKK, is down 55%. Most fund managers would give their left arm for a 37% one year gain right now. And this just shows what can be done in a very volatile market. My discord is all about helping people make more money. And if you want all of our live trading alerts on stocks, options, and crypto, then come join our community. It's really a tremendous value and you see the results every day. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's go over our eight bear market facts. Number one is a bear market is defined as a 20% drop in value. Market cycles are measured from the peak to trough, so a stock index officially reaches bear territory when the closing price drops at least 20% from its most recent highs, whereas a correction is a drop of 10 to 19.9%. And a new bull market begins when the closing price gains 20% from its low. Number two, stocks only lose 36% on average in a bear market, and by contrast, stocks gain 114% on average during a bull market. Number three, bear markets are normal, and even though we haven't seen many in the last decade, they really are normal. And since 1928, there have been 26 bear markets in the S&P 500 index, and there have been 27 bull markets where stocks have significantly increased over the long term. Number four, bear markets are short. The average length of a bear market is 289 days. The average length of a bull market is 991 days. So a little short-term pain is worth the long-term gain. Number five, bear markets are infrequent. Bear markets have been less frequent since World War II. Between 1928 and 1945, there were 12 bear markets, or one about every 1.4 years. Since 1945, there have been 14, and that's one about every 5.4 years. Number six is stay in the market. Half of the S&P 500 index's strongest days in the last 20 years occurred during a bear market. Statistically, staying invested in the market can help recover your losses so you do not miss the biggest gain days. Number seven, bear markets do not necessarily equal a recession. Now, bear markets often go hand in hand with a slowing economy. However, this does not necessarily mean that a recession will happen. Since 1929, there have been 26 bear markets, but only 15 recessions. And for number eight, there's an expression that I want to share with you. Bull markets make you money. Bear markets make you rich. Let's quickly go over some of the ways you can invest in a bear market. Number one, you can dollar cost average. Now I view bear markets as an opportunity to buy more quality stocks at cheaper prices, but you only wanna buy high conviction stocks. While dollar cost averaging works, you have to be prepared to hold losses while you wait for the markets to recover. And for example, here's a couple of high value stocks that I like, Google and Tesla. Number two is to diversify your holdings, and this is good in any market, but especially true in a bear market. Now, one of the things you can do is you can buy dividend stocks, and if you do buy dividend stocks, I really recommend looking at the total big picture, and by that I mean you want a dividend that's paying at least 4% or more, but you also want that stock to be trending up. I mean, think of it this way. If you buy a stock and you get a 5% dividend, but the stock drops 10% in value, you're net down 5% if you closed your stock position. So I always want to get a double win with both the dividend going going up and the stock price at least holding even or hopefully going up as well. Number two, we can look at bonds. Number three, we can look at strong performing sectors and a couple that do very well in bear markets are consumer staples and utilities. And lately due to an energy crisis, energy has been kicking butt as well. And number four, you wanna consider buying hard assets like real estate and businesses. This can be a great time to pick those up on the cheap and they are also a very great hedge against inflation. 
Number three, you can swing trade hot stocks and sectors. There are always going to be hot stocks and sectors in any market. For example, we've been killing it with energy stocks this year. We've had a lot of oil plays and just last week we made 43% and 20%. Both were one week profits and those were on options on oil stocks. So that's just one example of how you can absolutely crush it in the current market. And number four, you can use bearish strategies. Definitely consider buying puts, bear call spreads, or other strategies that profit when the stock or commodity drops in value. Now, the nice thing about using bearish strategies, or at least the two that I've mentioned here with puts and bear call spread, is our losses are limited, so we don't have unlimited risk. It's a great thing to consider, and I've got an option video series that I'm creating on YouTube. You might want to check that out as well. And if you're a stock market investor, bear markets, markets going sideways and bull markets, these are all just simply a fact of life. And there is no reason to fear a bear market. We just need to adjust our strategies and approach. With all this talk about inflation and a possible recession, I wanted to share some positivity and that's what you will always find on my channel. Do I lose money sometimes? Of course, we all do. And that's investing and part of the process. But I believe in the law of attraction. And here's a quote from Robin Sharma that I really like. What you focus on grows. What you think about expands. And what you dwell upon determines your destiny. So if the market crashes or the economy goes into a recession, we're going to focus on how to make money in that environment because it serves no productive purpose to focus on anything negative. And of course, the same principles apply to the rest of our lives. Focus on what you want from life and you'll be surprised at what you receive. All right, investors, that's all for today. If you got anything out of today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. My goal is to keep my video short, positive, and packed with information that helps you make money. And if you want access to all of our trades, including stocks, options, and crypto, or to join our discussion channels where we answer questions and cover investing in more detail, then come join our community. It's an amazing value and you see the winning results we're getting with investors just like you. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and check out jerryromine.com for all of my videos and indicators. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.